Oh, thank you for having me here, Tom. Absolutely. So, hey, let's, let's, first off, let's tell people, um, how did you get started in the granite business? Well, that's a family thing. I mean, my father has uh, quarries in Brazil of uh, marble and granite since 1964. And I moved to the U.S. to distribute to other shops and I ended up staying and I'm going to the fab business too. And so when folks are looking, this is what, what brought me to um, Roland, folks, is that the, the bottom line is that, number one, granite is beautiful, marble is beautiful. And when I walked in XL Granite, the colors were absolutely phenomenal. Um, so can you tell us, and in, in, in what has happened, folks, is that over the course of years, Roland has educated me in this business. But can you educate the folks, meaning in the aspect, Roland, that all these different colors, how different, you know, whether it's 10 years ago, 15 years ago, why, not why they're popular, but what happens when they're popular and, and how the pricing structure goes, like when something's popular? Sure. Um, usually the way the market happens here in America is there's like four, four uh, layers of people until the stone really gets to somebody's house. Okay. Uh, there's a square in, you know, in Brazil or in Italy, and then there's the factory that will buy the block from the quarry and export to a slab distributors in America, and those slab distributors will sell to fab shops. Now, the slab distributors, they don't really like to take risks too much. They they want to sell what's being sell, sold. Sure. Uh, they don't like to have some inventory and take a risk of not selling in the next few months. Um, what we do is a little bit different. Um, we cut off like two of the people in the middle. We're go directly to the queries and deal with the query owners because that's my background. And uh, we got these blocks and sometimes very unusual and exotic. And we, we, we basically don't depend on these two guys in the middle. Uh, we process and import and we also assist the, the homeowner directly. So uh, what happened to us, not only we have the inventory and we don't depend on a third party, which usually have, that's how it works. You, you buy from one guy and goes to another guy and you know, you, you get one stop. And at the same time, we have very, very unique stuff that uh, usually will cost like very much. And we can offer, we can come over with new things that not everybody's got. Right. And as you're watching Tiger TV, folks, okay, I'm gonna put this up right now because I want you to see how extraordinary this is because he, he was just explained in the aspect of you know how many people are in the middle and no matter where you are in the country listen if you're in the Tampa Bay St. Peter's Airport St. Peter's uh, area great call call Roland okay but if you're across the country what I want to do here is just get you educated so you can understand how this business runs because he's shown me the blocks that come in I just want to show them the size of the warehouse that you have, and you had a monster warehouse. Was it 21,000 feet? Yeah, we have this uh, warehouse, and it's kind of more comfortable for the clients. And also, the the material doesn't wear out. Like if if you leave the materials exposed to sun and and um, rain for long, I mean, it just loses the shine a little bit. It's not like the damaging, but it, it doesn't look as alive. So the inventory is inside and um, it's more comfortable, of course, to go over uh, and to take some time and, and pick up the scholars. And uh, we also have design people in the team yes. that will help people to come up with the right colors because it's not about having the right colors, it's like which is the color, right? That will make this really, really spectacular look when you, you, you have the job done. I mean, some people just say they, oh, I got it done, it's okay. I mean, we don't wanna do a okay job. We wanna see, okay, what can we do to get the nicest layout that, you know, when your friends come over and look at this kitchen and say, wow, this is for a magazine. And, and I wanna show you folks, okay? And when he says, when he has designers, his wife is an incredible designer, Malena. Okay, and this picture that you're looking at right now, I want to show you a couple of tricks that he actually did here. Okay, this is a, this is in one of the houses that I build, folks, and that's a 3D epoxy floor. 
And that's, that's a, that's a, this is Italian marble that you're looking at. So can you explain what you do, you know, on the edges here, what you did for me rolling on the edges, how you made this so extraordinary? All right, the way, the way we're doing now that will look really, really sharp is number one, um, trying to um, do miter edge on 45 degrees and then make the stone really look thicker, yes. like two inches, two and a half, um, and, and make it in a, in a way that the, the, the edges are, you know, best possible that you you looking at it, it appears to be like a block right it doesn't appear to be like cut or right polish like a lamination or um number two we'll, we'll carefully book match the veining so yes our stones uh we we polish the both sides on the same section that's being cut so every time we open the two stones they open as a book match now when you install a job with where the two slabs are book matching, it's completely different. Th this is not like a regular job that it's okay. Right. I mean, we'll we'll make it like amazing. We'll make it like the full backsplash matching up with the, with the tops. We'll make an island where they they have a center piece where match on making a nice, beautiful design on. on you know, matching the colors and mirroring the colors. Yes. In the veins. And when all this is combined and, and, and we got the right color, that's how you get the really impressive that looks like a magazine. Because, and people don't like to do this, honestly. Like most of the shops, they, it, it takes more time, it takes more effort. It, it does. Takes, so it's not for everybody, of course. I mean, it's not, you know, if you just want to flip a house, a small house, you might not want to do that. But if it's it's for your house and you want to look super, and it, it makes a huge difference. It, it does. And the picture you were looking at here, folks, that was four slabs that they put together. And it's incredible what ended up happening. I mean, they not only put it together, um, they put it together because they took the time in order to do that. So, you know, as you're shopping across the country, you know, just take your time because there's, there's great pieces out there, and the real bottom line is that what, what you can do with them, right? Because over the course of time, I mean, you, you've learned, you know, how to basically book match. Well, you've probably been book matching these forever, man. But listen, man, I, well, you know that I think you're phenomenal anyway. 